Hi there, I'm Bonnie Starr, and I'm here at Gulf Coast Ultrasound to share a hot tip of the day with you. What we're going to do today is a very simple process, but a quick and easy maneuver to get a lot of information in a very short amount of time for you. When you start your OB exam, if you take your transducer in a longitudinal fashion down low towards your patient's symphysis pubis, we're going to start there, and already you can see the patient's bladder, partially full, not that full, but partially. Already you've got the patient's veto head down low. And now what we're going to do is do a quick maneuver in a longitudinal fashion, just sliding up mom's abdomen, going high in the uterus, right down the midline of her abdomen. You can see the baby's head is low, coming up to heart with some movement of the fetus, and all the way up towards the top of the uterus. I'm taking a look at mom's abdomen just to kind of get an idea where I can divide her abdomen to the top of the uterus into four quadrants. So I'm at the top, you can see placenta, a fundal placenta with a posterior lie, Coming back down halfway, I've just divided that longitudinal path into a halfway dimension. Now I'm just going to keep my transducer longitudinal sliding over towards mom's left. Basically over there all we're seeing is some fluid, baby spine, longitudinal of the abdomen, now I'm at mom's midline, and coming towards her right side now. You already appreciate fetal limbs, the femurs, and the baby's arms in front of the face. Again, you see the lie of the placenta along the back of the uterus, fetal heart, over towards her left one last time, over towards her right with fetal extremities lying on her right. What that does for us is it gives us a lot of information before we start doing any measurements or any getting information about the fetus itself. We're only looking at one baby. It's in a cephalic presentation, longitudinal lie. When I go to do my measurements of femur, I know I'm going to be looking over on mom's right side Looks like uh, an active fetal heart rate there. Fluid looked pretty average. That we can also tell is it oligo or poly just in this one quick survey. So in a short amount of time, you've got a lot of information. When you go to do your measurements on your BPD, femur length, abdomen, you pretty much know now where to look to get those measurements done. Once you've done your general survey, that takes about 15, 20 seconds or so. You can go ahead and jump in with your measurements. That allows you to get them out of your way while the baby is quiet and uh, helpful. And you've still got something to look at later on in your exam. If the baby tends to wake up and start moving on you, you, uh, you can use your time a little more efficiently. So that's your hot tip for today. Now it's your turn to give it a try.